Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be coming up with some different type of concept uh, to make for FIFA 20 content. This is going to be the potential, potentially, best hyperlinks in FIFA 20. The reason why I'm saying potentially is because some of these players may still get transferred. For example, Pogba could get a magnificent, crazy, out of the blue transfer to Real Madrid for God knows how much money, right? Um, players like, uh, players like, uh, who else is there? There's also Dembele who could be part of the trade deal to PSG and stuff like that, right? So we don't know uh, what's going to be official, but there's a lot of players to list here in regards to uh, who would be really, really cool to have in a team in regards to uh, really good hyperlinks. So we're going to start off with top to bottom, right? Some of these players, some of them you guys are not going to see yourself. The reason why I chose these players is because uh, they will fit some sort of meta, while uh, whether it will be uh, a baby meta, a maybe a mid-tier meta, or a high-tier meta, they will fit it, right? Uh, those are like the three tiers that I give in regards to meta cards because uh, FIFA just has cards that aren't really usable in general, but then you would use them just for fun, right? Um, so... Let's get started. The first player that we have here, or the first two players that we have here, is Griezmann and Dembele. So, with Griezmann's card, uh, with Griezmann's card, he is now in Barcelona. Oh, they actually gave him a Barcelona card in FIFA 19 before he got transferred, so that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, Griezmann is one card that is definitely going to be one of the cards to take into consideration with uh, Usman Dembele in regards to a very strong link, right? French, Barcelona, and club, that's what the hyperlink is. Uh, very, very good players, right? We got Dembele, who has all the minimum requirements to make him an absolute beast. He's got the weak foot, skill moves, pace, shooting, passing, dribbling. Same thing with Griezmann as well in those, pay in those departments, except for the fact that he doesn't have the weak foot. But FIFA 19's finishing is a little bit different. Uh, when I was playing the beta, I felt like I could score simple opportunities with my three-star weak foot, whereas in FIFA 19, obviously, you couldn't. So I think that this will be a very good pairing in general. going to be a very expensive pairing because they're going to be really, really up there in price. I could see Usman potentially getting a, a rating downgrade, uh, but I could see maybe Griezmann staying uh, around the same thing. Uh, next up, we have Pogba and Martial. So this is obviously a big one that could falter depending on whether or not uh, Pogba gets transferred by the end of the transfer window because of his brother saying that he still wants to leave and blah, blah, right? Uh, but Pogba Martial would be a very, very good link up as well. Uh, we're obviously looking at the positions that they could be fitting. Uh, Martial could potentially be a striker next year. Um, because he has been playing striker for Manchester United recently in real life. Uh, but it depends on EA, right? Because Edwin Militao was playing center back and right back, but they chose to give him a center back card. And then with Martial, he could potentially be switching between two. Who knows, right? Uh, but with Martial up top, you can obviously put Pogba in the middle. You got that green link right there. And you can kind of work with whatever you want around that as well. So very good players to have meta-wise, right? The only problem with Martial is the weak foot. Hopefully EA comes up with a promo where you can increase the weak foot as you play the game. It doesn't have to be up to a, a five-star, but a maximum four-star would be very, very nice if the player doesn't initially have that three-star weak foot be it would be a really cool thing gameplay wise to be able to upgrade as you play the game because it does make players more not necessarily unusable but not desirable because they don't have that four-star weak foot but obviously Pogba is an obvious one for the midfield because he's tall he's got pretty much every single stat you can think of to be a very good player he's gonna be missing the defending stats so that could be a problem with him next year but I still think he's gonna be an absolute monster just because of his height so this is gonna be a very huge matchup as well uh next one is going to be Rabio and Matuidi I think Rabio and Matuidi I'm not sure if they gave Rabio a Juve transferred card um Rabio, 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 Juve transfer? Nope, not at all. But Rabio and Matuidi will be a very, very good link up as well. Uh, biggest reason between these two cards right here will be the fact that um, they're going to be your two core midfielders if you do end up going with like a 4 2 3 1 formation, right? You could end up, you know, liking a high, high work rate for the new year. I personally always like to have the medium highs and low highs for one of my CDMs. But with these two guys playing in your center mid position, um, you have potential to have two really good CDMs, and one of them could rotate to that center mid position and still do a very, very good job, right? So uh, another very, very good pairing in that regard. Uh, next up, we have Varane and Ferlan Mendy. I think Varane and Ferlan Mendy is going to be uh, most likely top priority 
in regards to uh, beginner meta teams. I think that people are going to be looking at, looking into um, these two for these squads. Uh, I know that some people are going to be spending fewer points, so they're going to have that competitive edge against people in regards to the... Um, specific players in specific positions i think Ferland mendy might get an upgrade as well because i think in fifa 19 he was a 79 rated player i can see him maybe being an 80 81 um so i think that this link up right here will probably be the most desirable link up uh, amongst the community in regards to um a full meta team because both of those cards were absolutely phenomenal in the uh in the uh in the beta and this right here we have walker with Sterling, right? So Walker and Sterling, there's different ways that you can link both of these guys up. Obviously, English Manchester City, um, English Manchester City Premier League link up right there. You could set them up in a 4-3-3, where uh, in one of the positions, they actually require the right back. I believe, I forgot which one it was. It might be this one right here, actually. So you can see right here that you get that direct link. So you wouldn't have to worry about links in regards to the center mid and the striker. So you can kind of rotate a, a, around these players. But most likely, if you have Walker and Sterling in your team, you're most likely going to have Premier League players in your team anyways. But uh, that's also a very, very good solid link up right there. Best way to get chemistry link ups with these types of players is always in the uh, four five one this formation because you can see right here you only need a double link here you don't need a triple link here but it's just an easy way to link them up where you know you could just rotate with whatever you want on the sides right so uh but still a very very good setup in that regard uh next up we have Cancelo and bernardo silva so instead of having cristiano ronaldo in the team the difference would be bernardo silva obviously a huge difference but in regards to Cancelo being recently transferred uh to manchester city uh, this could be a very, very good deal right here. I'm looking for the 4-3-2-1 because 4-3-2-1 is a very good formation to start off before the game starts as well. So this is going to be an ideal setup as well with Cancelo being at right back uh, with Bernardo Silva. Get that triple link going on there. Portuguese, Manchester City, and the Premier League. Uh, Cancelo is a very good right back. Could potentially have the same stats for next year's game. Bernardo Silva obviously missing that weak foot, but has the skill moves. Very small player that's very agile, so he's still going to be a very, very cool cam to use in the beginning of the year, but might not necessarily be worth the price for the beginning of the year. There could be better options in regards to dynamic tactics being changed um, for you to use in those positions. Next up, we have Sissoko and Dembele. So obviously... Another very good choice, just because for the cheaper options to have in the beginning of the game, not necessarily for on, on Dumbele, because I think I think Dumbele is going to have um, is is going to be more expensive than Sissoko in my opinion, but he's still going to be a very awesome card to have. That Spurs French uh, and Premier League link up will be very very nice. You can have. Uh, either one of them playing as a CDM if you really, really want to. And that French link up is just so nice because they can kind of link up with any French player in general. So that will be a very, very solid lineup for that as well. Uh, another very good one will be Alexandro and Douglas Costa. Uh, always a very good setup to have in the beginning of the year, I think, if you go with the baby meta cards. The thing about Douglas Costa's card is whether or not EA decide um, to, give, to give him... Sorry, just looking for the formation here. Uh, it's whether EA or not decide to give him good enough shooting or whether or not the mechanics make enough sense for you to use Douglas Costa because the shooting is going to be a little bit more different in regards to being more clinical than FIFA 19, but not necessarily 100% there yet, right? So obviously you want to have as high enough shooting as possible, but his lack of weak foot could present to be a problem, but I think that his agility and on-the-ball movement will be fantastic. If you do end up giving him a sniper card, I think potentially that sniper chemistry style could make him... Uh, way more usable next year because of the way that um, the mechanics work, right? Uh, next up, we have Longley and Umtiti. So Longley and Umtiti, I can see being, uh, I would say, potentially the cheaper option to go with for the beginning of the year. Um, they're still going to be expensive, I think, but I think that they're going to be one of the more affordable mid-tier um, meta players to use. I think MTT could potentially be still too slow, uh, but I think long leg will, might be the same. They might give him like, I think a 74 potentially uh, in regards to pace because he's a 73 right now. So maybe they upgraded by a little bit, but not entirely too short, but that's going to also be a very good link up. French links as well is awesome to have. Um, next up, we have Royce and Julian Brandt. Royce and Julian Brandt will be awesome because I think with Julian Brandt now being in the team for Borussia Dortmund, um, he's just going to be a really, really sick card to have. I think they're going to give him significant stat upgrade. Well, mm, let me see what his card looks like right now, actually. Julian 
Julian Brandt here is oh yeah they'll definitely give him significant stat increases i'm not i think they'll give him a cam card as well like a center mid card like they did for his team of the season uh so it'll be a very very easy link up between the two royce could potentially be playing a cam as well uh because recently for Borussia Dortmund, i think they've been lining up with uh thorgan hazard as a cam royce as a cam or in real life it could be seen as a left mid left wing cam blah blah, blah right royce usually plays in the middle and on the right side is, is uh Jaden sancho so they're definitely going to probably have a rotation policy with Julian Brandt being in the team and whatnot as well. Um, so that's going to be a very good link up too. Uh, Pavard and Hernandez is going to be a solid, solid center back partnership to have. If they do anything like this, this right here to this car right here, him being transferred to Bayern Munich could potentially result into an 82-83 card. Um, so I think that that could potentially be a very, very sick card. I'm searching for Pavard again. Uh, but now with the recent... Uh, introduction to, of Hernandez in the team, these two will potentially get a very, very good link, depending on what position EA chooses to put them in, because uh, Hernandez does have a card where he was a left back, right? So you can see right about here, initially he was a left back, but then he was playing center back for Atletico Madrid. Um, so it really depends on, e on where EA chooses between them. But the thing is that I feel like one of them could potentially at least get a center back card, especially Pavard. Um, so even if they do end up using him as a fullback, it'll still be a good triple link to have uh, between those two players over there. Uh, next up, we got Tolisso and Coleman. So Tolisco, Tolisso and Coleman, there's so much to work with with the Tolisso and Coleman situation just because of all the new French players being transferred to Bayern Munich recently, right? You can see that if Hernandez does end up being a left back, which they may or may not do depending on their situation, you could see that in this situation right here, there's literally four players that are going to get um hyperlinks towards each other and it's just gonna make it look nice it's a very solid solid left side to have where you don't even have to worry about that anymore you could just do whatever you want the right side goalkeeper to the right middle to the right whatever it is right there's gonna be so much potential to work with because they're still all baby meta mid-tier meta players that are gonna be uh very cool to have in general next up we have herrera and sarabia so herrera and sarabia um could potentially be a very very good link up to have as a baby I, uh, baby meta to have in the beginning of the game. Uh, Herrera was one of my baby meta cards to have. I believe it was two years ago, and he was just always in my team until I got better players. Um, so this link up could potentially be a very, very good link. A link up with Sarabia potentially playing as a very, very good cam because you guys, you guys have to remember that he is a four star, four star player, um, while also being left footed, playing in a potential cam position, right? And then Herrera can be playing as one of your CDMs or one of your center mids, and he would do a very, very good job um, in those positions as well. Uh, we got a triple link over here in regards to hyperlinks with Ariola being the goalkeeper, the recent transfer of Diallo to PSG, and then we have Kambempe as well. Um, in those positions. So that could be a very good triple solid link up, right? Because you can see that you're not going to have to worry about any other link ups anywhere else because they already have those link ups. They could get it with double link ups as well. Um, if all of them just get double link ups with because they have those triple link ups that hyperlink, um, you can create a really, really cool team with a, a, a different left side, a different right side, and a different middle, right? So a uh, lot to work with. The whole thing with FIFA is starting off with a formation that gives you the chemistry uh, with a team, and then you can rotate it to whatever whatever you want and still have it be balanced, right? So I think that's going to be very, very important. Next up, we have Fabinho and Fermino. Fermino and Fabinho will be a very cool link up as well. You could see that even with this team right here, this is all the links that they're going to need, right? You can have a complete different right side, a complete different left side, and just go with that, right? So very, very cool link up to have as well there. Fermino, I think, will... I don't necessarily know how he'll be as a striker, but I liked him a lot in the beginning of the year as a cam for myself. I think he was very, very solid in those positions. Um, and, you know, he just he just worked out really, really well for me, in my opinion. Um, so you can see that even with this, this is a really cool setup. You can also go with the typical uh, Marquinhos, Marquinhos and Thiago Silva setup. Right, so that's obviously a really cool triple link to have. You get the double link with uh, Areola, but that's all they really would really require, to be honest. Um, really, really cool link ups in general. Marquinhos and Thiago Silva are good center backs in the game. Um, not sure if anyone used these guys for FIFA 19. I know Marquinhos, some people did. Thiago Silva didn't really see him too much, but again, didn't really play that game too much because it was awful, but it is what it is. Uh, next up, I think we have two more that we can link up right here. So Vinicius Jr., I can see getting... 
Uh, a very good stat increase, Vinicius. Um, I can see I'm getting a very good stat increase because his 77 was kind of low. He was a starter ne last year, and I do see him playing um, quite a bit this year. I think it's going to be a rotation policy between him, Hazard, Bale, depending on what Zidane chooses to go with. He's been talking about using a 4-4-2 setup as well, where Hazard could play that striker position or that center forward striker position. Kind of like, um, I think I could see Hazard playing like a João Felix role that he did for Benfica in Real Madrid with Benzema being the striker and Hazard being the guy that kind of creates up the space. And then Vinicius on the left with Bale on the right. I think would be a really, really cool setup with potentially like Casemiro and Tony Cruz in the middle or Casemiro and Modric in the middle or Modric and Tony Cruz, depending on um, what the best situation is. I like Casemiro personally in the middle because he's that core midfielder that I feel like any type of team really, really needs, but it is what it is. Virgil van Dijk with Genie Wijnaldum. I could see Genie Wijnaldum potentially getting... Um, Potentially getting some stat increases on his car, but that's obviously the Dutch Liverpool Premier League link up that will be very, very nice as well. And uh, last but not least, and again, I'm, I am going to forget some players. Last but not least, we got Militao. Militao with, with uh, Casemiro nowadays, right? So that's going to be a very cool link up to have as well because Casemiro is probably going to be a very solid CDM. I do wish that they would increase his pace because pace is always going to be a relevant thing in FIFA to make a card uh, desirable and not desirable but I think that in general Casemiro and Nether Militao link up being an FC Porto fan myself I would love to do that in my team uh, link them up in that general way maybe hopefully they get a really cool card for Danilo next year because he is from Juve nowadays um, so Juve Brazilian maybe he gets like a um, a, a pass card that you know gets some really really cool boost because Danilo and Alexander will be really cool players to have um, in this lineup as well. But that's pretty much it. Concluded for the that's going to conclude the video for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. This is just like a kind of concept video. Some of these guys could get transferred in the future in regards to the FIFA 20 linkups, but these are some really cool linkups to have. Remember that FIFA's formation policy is to start off with a formation that. Um, you get the link ups with and then your dynamic tactics are used to be able to put them wherever you want. If you want to use your left wings and right wings as your cam, you can do that with the create or with the introduction of dynamic tactics from last year's game. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys want to see for, for the next video. I could do like a Liga Santander Spanish type of uh, squad builder. Be sure to let me know in the comment section down below and I'll catch you guys for the next video. Peace out dudes. Love you guys.